How much does Greece owe, Roger? Uh, $367 billion. Correct. And who do they owe it to? Mostly to the other European economies. Correct. How much does Ireland owe? $865 billion. Correct. And who do they owe it to? Other European economies, mostly. Correct. How much does Spain and Italy owe? One trillion dollars each. Correct. Who to? Mainly France, Britain and Germany. Correct. And how are Germany, France and Britain going, Roger? Well, they're struggling a bit, aren't they? Correct. Why? Because they've lent all these vast amounts of money to other European economies that can't possibly pay them back. Correct. So what are they going to do? They're going to have to bail them out. Correct. Where are they getting the money to do that, Roger? <laughs> That's a good question. I don't know the answer to that one. How much does Portugal owe? Hang on a minute. Most of us believe that banks lend out money that has been entrusted to them by depositors. Easy to picture, but not the truth. In fact, banks create the money they loan, not from the bank's own earnings, not from the money deposited, but directly from the borrower's promise to repay. Stop! Question! What is money? Uh, what is money? M money is um, a non-existent theoretical force that has never, does not, and will never exist except in theory on computer screens. People die and starve because they don't have enough digits on a computer screen. It's incredible and it's extraordinary and it's grotesque, but unfortunately it's true. Today, several types of payments are now being made electronically by computers. Many people get their paychecks automatically deposited in their bank accounts. This type of technology means that someday, paper checks could be a thing of the past. Keeping up with technology is another one of our jobs at the Fed. Our work goes into every dollar you spend. At the Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis, we are committed to supporting and strengthening our financial system. And that's a commitment you can take to the bank. He knew that very few of his depositors ever removed their actual gold, so the goldsmith figured he could easily get away with lending out claim checks against his depositors' gold in addition to his own. Healthcare focus is uh, single payer or universal. Thank you. It's absolutely absurd that people that can't afford to go to, you know, the doctor on a regular basis are forced to go to the ER, the most expensive place to go. We need to get the corporations out of healthcare. The uh, the profit motive has no place in taking care of sick people, and a lot of doctors are really tired of having to just treat their patients like um, they were in a mass production factory. It's, it's absurd that it's even that your amount of disposable income is even a factor in determining whether you should get treated for being uh, treated for your illnesses or not. So it's I, I, I don't even understand why there's any opposition to single payer, but I, I can't speak for everybody, I guess. Uh, why am I out here? Yeah. So. Well, I feel like I just need to do something. You know? Have you ever had that feeling? Yes. How about How do you feel as a young person? Do you, do you feel like there's a lot of opportunity and things waiting for you to just succeed in this world? No, I don't. I don't think there's a lot for me waiting for me to succeed. Uh -huh. I don't have insurance or health care. I don't, can't see a doctor without paying out of my pocket. I don't have money to pay out of my pocket. They, they probably want the money before they see you. And they want money before they see me. Yeah. At least some kind of collateral or uh -huh. credit card number. Oh, right, credit card number. Yeah, and I'm not gonna, no. I'd be pissed. 
I'm pissed. All right. We're pissed. We're pissed. Yeah. That's why we're here. We're pissed. <laughs> I'm a local contractor here in town. I don't have any health care insurance. Can't afford it. All my money's going to food, my mortgage. So if I get sick or break my leg, I'm out of business. Then I gotta declare bankruptcy. Number one cause of bankruptcy, unfortunately, in America right now is health care. So maybe a little bit more important than anything else right now is getting everybody health care. So we don't have to worry about who's gonna take care of us, who's gonna be there for me when I get old and retire and not have any money. Right? A lot easier to take care of me now when I'm young and healthy, make sure I'm strong when I get older. Not just left alone wondering what the doctor's gonna say when I'm 80. We need to have a system where we're all in it together from the beginning. That's how we stop getting sick. Start worrying about what to do to keep not being sick. That's why I'm out here. Nice. I really admire the doctors and, and the nurses that are out there looking for universal health care for everybody because they've seen what what these people are going through. And those are the people who can afford to get care. Uh, this sign of mine says that for, I think there were 558 people in Oregon annually who die because they don't have affordable health care. Gee, corporate power is uh, make, maintaining the world the way it is? I don't think so. I think we've got to uh, stop corporate controls of uh, our political systems, make sure that we have uh, the open dialogue in our democ democratic system, and so there's going to be some uh, needed uh, changes to the way things work, and of course you have to just do things differently then. So I'm trying to find out how we can uh, organize this group to do things differently and uh, get uh, control of our political system to the point where it will do good for everyone, at least the 99%. It's really seen no matter how brilliant your idea may be, or your idea, or my idea, or her idea, or your idea at home, is that idea will not happen as long as there is the capacity to basically fire a politician who disagrees with me by taking funding away from him. Is that a fair assessment? Money in politics is the root of all political evil. It is corruption at its worst. And until we step up and kick that out of the park, it's going to be the same system all And only the president... believe that money should be devolved down to the community level. So in other words, people living in smaller units should have control over money. Whereas at the moment, uh, money is, is created and controlled at the sort of national and global level. And that's why the communities tend to get left out of it. Just a minute, what was the answer to the previous question? The question was, how can broke economies yes. lend money to other broke economies yes. who haven't got any money because they can't pay back the money the broke economy lent to the other broke economy and shouldn't have lent it to them in the first place because the broke economy can't pay it back? You're wasting very valuable time, Roger. How much money does Spain owe to Italy? $41 billion, but where are they going to get it? Correct. What does Italy owe to Spain? $27 billion, but they haven't got it. They're broke. Correct. How can they pay each other if neither of them has any money? They're going to get a bailout, aren't they? Correct. And where's the money coming from for the bailout? That's what I'm asking you. Correct. Capitalism is like a spider. The web is getting tighter. I'm struggling like a fighter. Just do us losers like a noose. Asphyxiation sets in. Just when I think I'm free, it seems to be the spider steps in. This web is made of money, made of greed, made of me. Oh, what I have become in a parasite economy. In the monarchy, that's a rip. But in monkey, if I had a walk, you know, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Capitalism is like a spider. The web is getting tighter, I'm struggling like a fighter Just do us losers like a noose, asphyxiation sets And just when I think I'm free, it seems to be the spider steps in This web is made of money, made of greed, made of me Oh, what I have become in a parasite economy in